think so. All right, so here we are once again. It is time for Sentinels Live. Once again, our tweet is later than I would like it to be. Um, let me put the music back on here. Is everybody here? John, John, Mark, you guys both here? Yep. All right. Once Jen, Mark, and Jen are here. And Jen, and Jenemy. Nice. All right, <laughs> so let's go ahead and do a custom game. I'm going to want to then do open hands and majority. Boom. All right. Pop. So what we're looking at Justice Comics number 581. So what new content should we show off now? What do we think? Should we do the villain or should we do the scholar? Um at some point I think to be the scholar but it doesn't have to be me and now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Let's do the scholar this time. Who should we play against? We can take turns being the scholar today. <laughs> I should be. <laughs> Pistocene says Jeremy should do the whole thing in his young legacy voice and pretend to be his twin sister, Jenemy. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Uh, who should we play against? Should we stay with a core game villain or should we branch out a bit? We played Advanced Enemy uh -huh. this week on the live stream. I'll go to Rook City villain. Yeah. Plague Rat. Ooh, Plague Rat. That works with where we just were. We'll do Plague Rat. And let's see, environments. Um, I suppose we could play in the final wasteland again, but maybe we want to spread it around. What does everybody think? Yeah, let's spread it around. Spread it around. Well, we were just talking up Realm of Discord, so why don't we do that? Um, and in response to the chat, um, the composer for the music is here. That's John Mark. Um, Hi. That's, that's John Mark, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hang out a little bit later well, in the day. thank you, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> yeah, OPT Lawyer is actually going to be one of our official streamers um, over the course of the weekend. The, the first one. Yeah I, yeah, I think he's the first one right at 6 tonight. Um, thank you for that. And, uh, and yeah, Jean-Marc is our composer. He is. Uh, you'll learn more about him when he talks about uh, how he does his process later in the day. All right, so let's see. We got Plague Rat at Realm of Discord. Do we want to go advanced? Um, I'm always okay with making it more difficult. Yeah, I kind of am too, so. Sure. Well, we're one for one. We'll see. Plague Ride is, gets more difficult on advanced, uh, more yes. than many villains, I find. But, uh, let's go for it. All right. We have some ongoing destruction with Tempest and Expatriate. That's handy. Yeah, let's see. Who should I be? We got Scholar... Dark Watch Expatriate and Tempest. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still on my thing. All right, here, here's the choices. Haka or Absolute Zero? Who should I be? Those are my two that I play the least, so I've been trying to play them more. What do you guys think? Nobody has an opinion. No opinion. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. They're both good. My game doesn't seem to be updating. Um, I'm gonna okay. back and rejoin. Okay. Updating what? Yeah. Like when, like you're adding the villain and the heroes and stuff. Nothing's happening. Okay. I'll do absolute zero. All right, and then how about? I thought you wanted to be the scholar, John Mark. You. It says your night mist. What's going on here? Something's up with my game. Did you restart or did you just leave the lobby? All right, well, we'll see if it works. Is this a good order for everybody? Yep. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to try shutting down. All right. Okay. Sorry. A little bit of time here while we wait for Jean Marc to quit and restart his game. Can you go an entire game without playing Null Point? Yeah, I'm not that good at, at Absolute Zero. <laughs> I know that there is a... I, uh, John has told me a, a lot about how there's a really awesome strategy out there for playing Absolute Zero without using his modules, but um, I haven't really looked into it yet. John and Mark is now playing Sentinels of the Multiverse. Thank you, Steam.
the chat wants to know more about the scholar. All right. Somebody who knows more about the scholar, go ahead and talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> John Mark. For lore, I usually go to either John or Jean Marc. You also have to talk about the perfect strategy, according to the chat. I I don't want to spoil anything. Um, so the scholar's main uh, power, if you look at his full card, is the scholar regains one HP, um, and so he kind of focuses on. Um, meditation, things like that. Um, and he, he's a good team player, um, has lots of cards that, um, that heal or let uh, team members play. And he also has these uh, elemental forms, um, which allow him to do various effects, like increase his uh, HP gain or turn uh, deal as much damage as he gains HP. Um, so I'm sure we'll be seeing some of those things during yes. this game. Since we got the build together that had him in, I've played like five games with him because I'm trying to get to know how he plays. And he's definitely got an, some interesting differences from any of the other heroes I've played so far, which is pretty cool. All right, let's go over this real quick. We got Dark Watch Expatriate. Starts with Incendiary Rounds, Prejudice, Shock Rounds, and Unload. Tempest has Aquatic Correspondence, Chain Lightning, Electrical Storm, and Vicious Cyclone. Absolute Zero starts with the Coolant Blast, Glacial Structure, Horrifier, and Onboard Module Installation. And the Scholar has... Let's actually bring up his cards big so you can see them. Don't miss anything. Each player may either move one card... Don't dismiss anything. No, I'm sorry. Don't dismiss anything. Each player may either move one card from their trash to the top of the deck or put the top, or put the top card of their deck into play. Uh, could work out well with someone like, um, you know, like a Night Mist or the Visionary who have a lot of their own deck control. We've got Grace Under Fire. The Scholar deals one target X Radiant Damage, where X is the number of non-hero targets in play. Offensive Transmutation. Scholar deals one target two Infernal Damage. A target dealt damage this way cannot deal damage till the start of your next turn. And Transmutive Recovery. This was my favorite card in the games I've played so far. The Scholar regains two HP and draws two cards. All right, so let's see what play. Grace Under Fire is also known as the Lemon Cannon. Aha! Because the flavor text says, if life gives you lemons, make a Lemon Cannon. Nice. It might be worthwhile to show everyone the three different elemental cards for the Scholar, because they're really important to um, the way he plays the game. Sure. All right, so let's get through the Plague Rat's turn. He's dealing lots and lots of damage. <coughs> and now we've got some irreducible damage. Well, no infections anyway. Yep. At least we have that. Alright, so before we get going here, I'm going to pop up the, the Scholar, pop up his deck. You'll notice this is another thing that you can now do in the most recent 1.5 update, is that we now have decks that show counts of cards that are in them. It's really awesome. Alright, so let's check out Elemental. First Elemental he's got here is Flesh to Iron. At the start of your turn, either discard one card or destroy this card. That's the cost for using any of the Elementals. This one reduces damage dealt to the Scholar by two, so this is his, his uh, armor card. Then we have... Mortal form to energy. Whenever the Scholar regains HP, the Scholar also deals one target that much energy damage. So that's pretty awesome. And the final one is solid to liquid. Whenever the Scholar would regain HP, increase the amount of HP regained by one. With a base power of gaining one HP, um, that's an, obviously a pretty solid booster to that. And now we have Dark Watch Expatriate. And the Scholar also has a card where he can draw five cards at once. Yep. Uh, yeah, the chat's talking about the Scholar, and I mentioned yeah. that uh, he's in a short list of heroes that I think are basically the heroes that can win a game if they're on their own. Uh, the Scholar and Absolute Zero and Night Mist are in that list. Nice. There might be others, but they are like, you know, if you're in a tough game and everyone else is knocked out and one of those three is up, you'll have a really good chance of still winning. People are saying they really dig the artwork on Solid to Liquid, which um, I, I, w the first time I saw this card, all I could think of was the Futurama episode where Fry becomes the, uh, the emperor of like a liquid person planet. Because that's, <laughs> that's, that's what it made me think of. <laughs> okay, I totally thought of the Liquidator from Darkwing Duck. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, one half of... Does anyone in the chat remember Darkwing Duck? We'll see. All right, I'm going to aim, and then next turn, I'll be able to... Unleash the Firestorm. Un unleash the Shock Rounds. All right. Ooh, do I want to put an electrical storm in play? We definitely have some Darkwing fans in the chat. Oh, yeah. That was actually my favorite cartoon when I was... Mine, <laughs> too, actually. <laughs> have you? Did you read the comic books? There's a comic book. <laughs> There's, like, new... Like, there were new comic books, like, a few years ago, and they're starting up again. Yeah. The comic books are amazing. Start with my module... Installation here, and I'm gonna play the card that they asked if I could try to go the whole game without playing it, and I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Get out my null wing. Yeah, actually, the first um, piece of music I submitted to Overclock Remix, which is a video game remix site, um, was for a Darkwing Duck game, but uh, they said that the sound needed to be improved because I didn't have good instruments at that time. So I still have that. <laughs> yeah, the scholar people are saying they love how the scout how casual he looks when he's confronting the villain because the villain comes up and says I'm going to destroy the world and the scholar just says I mean that's just like your opinion man. <laughs> yeah, that's it's pretty much what he's thinking. Yep. Okay, so um I could either stop Plague Rat from doing damage um could heal and draw some cards, or I could get everyone to play the top card of their deck. I like top cards of decks. I do too. Yeah, I really like I really like that card. Alright, here we go. Ooh. I guess I can Mm. Yeah, double aim. <laughs> get, get double aim. And set up more <laughs> set up for next turn. Excellent. Absolute zero. Yeah, let's do it. Uh oh. The positive energy field has been compared to a rug that ties the whole realm of Discord together. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Oh, and there we go. I've got my mortal form to energy out. So, we gain one HP. And, let's see. <laughs> Scholar's dialogue when facing Plague Rat should be, hey, nice marmot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so, um, do we want to take out the Plague Lotus, or? Yeah, it's giving him plus one damage. Yep. And heals him. So just FYI, if you guys didn't see it, my Sub-Zero Atmosphere came out on that play the top card thing. So be advised. Immune to toxic damage. That positive energy field is great for the scholar. Yes. Yeah. And if we get rid of the locusts, it's going to be only healing us. Well, yeah, and that was what I was going to say, is we just have to make sure that he doesn't heal up so high that he's not going to benefit from it. But the thing is, if we destroy the locust, then we, we don't need to worry about That's that. That's true, yeah. And I'm doing a pretty good job of that. Yes. Get gone, Plague Locus. Actually, Tempest can finish it off right now. I sure can. Has anybody accidentally ever called it Plague Locutus? Because I did that once. I think oh, you can hit Plague Rat here because the Locus will be killed by Tempest. Yeah, with the Chain Lightning. You can hit. You can even hit Plague Rat with the first. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. 
Bye bye, Plague Locust. Cool. The band's Plague Rat's basically a kitty cat. We got this. <laughs> Locutus of Plague is the Omnitron crossover event, says Cytosine. All right. What do we got here? Um, do I have anything in my trash? Oh, it's an onboard module. But that's not equipment. That's a one shot. All right. I'm just going to keep doing this. We might have to start hitting the scholar so that he's able to heal. <laughs> yeah, I actually thought about hitting him with my third hit on my last turn. <laughs> <laughs> it seems wrong. Yeah, he's not he's not near full yet. Does so he right? Yeah, while. I mean, if he, if he if he was in full health, it would make <clears throat> sense. But. Yeah, and I should as ampl absolute zero with my setup. I should be able to keep myself above him if other targets start coming out. Hopefully. Okay. We're gonna suggest all kinds of things. Yeah, they're they're all good options. This is a really good mortal form to energy. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, so no, no when to turn loose is the flip side of no when to, what is it? It's not no when to hold, hold fast. Them. No when to hold fast. And so the no when to hold fast is the, the, the car, uh, card draw card, five cards. And then no when to turn loose is discard your whole hand and, and do mass damage. So. Oh, we lost positive energy, but we get time flies anyways. Oh, our favorite card. All right, chat room. Who here was, was on when we had time flies and... Um, Bunker. <laughs> yeah, Bunker and Tempest. Yeah. It's ridiculous. That was a heck of a game. Bunker kept stopping uh, the environment from playing cards, so time flies. Never yep. Oh, we get our first infection. I don't know. It's going to be infected. Either Absolute Zero or Scholar. Yeah, I was going to say, Scholar might not be a bad choice. Yeah, I'll actually, take. that makes sense. Because you can heal up and yeah. you get plus one damage from it, so. And we get another infection. I'll take it. Absolute zero. Expatriate is hurting a bit. All right, I'm going to play a gun and aim this turn. Actually, I get to play two things. Ooh, I forgot about that. I could play a gun and unload, or I could aim for next turn. I think I might aim for next turn. And hope to get a another gun. So Cytosine says time flies means you can stack aims, right? It's not it's not really. Not you only get power. to use one. Yeah. It's, a, it's just an extra card draw and an extra card play. Um, with unload, he's getting to stack aims a bit. Uh, well, you're probably not going to be able to if you use both the guns. If you had uh, what's it called in play, you could. Your other uh, prejudice. Well, if we keep time flies, I have quick draw so I can get the other gun out. Ah. I am just drawing lots of cards. <laughs> yeah, I love getting localized hurricane out. Yeah, you can get that uh card. The time on flies is, then I can yeah, then I can vicious like vicious cyclone. Vicious cyclone and gene bond shackles. Yeah, so that's that a be, great combo. That'd be really nice for my next turn. Right, remember two cards, Jeremy. Yeah, so first things first, I'm going to I still don't have anything I can get back from my trash.
You have Impale, though. Yeah, I'm definitely getting Impale out. I wanted to see if it made sense to get something else out first, but I think Impale's fine to go out first, and then... I could do... I could Horrifier and do Cold to myself, and then just yep. Fire. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. So we'll do the Cold to Absolute Zero, heal up a bit. Quite a bit, actually. Then we'll fire damage Plague Rats for three. And then heal myself back up again for another three. And lose it for two. But that's okay. It's a net positive. Especially because yeah, they're gonna heal for I'm going to heal again. again. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a cold snap. And there's my isothermic transducer. Awesome. All right, so now, obviously, this is what we were talking about before. At the beginning of the turn, Scholar has to discard a card if he wants to keep that elemental around. Probably not going to use no when to turn loose soon. Um, offensively transmute. Bring what you need up. It's yeah, that card thing. intrigued me when I read it. I haven't used it yet in a game, but it looked like an interesting power to have. Yeah, I'm not using it right now. It's nice because you it's essentially drawing two cards. Yeah. Yes. And the scholar is basically a card engine. Ugh, we lose time flies and we get imbued vitality. Ah, but imbued vitality it allows us to get rid of that sewer fiend without ongoing destruction. And uh, infection cards, infections, but we have to be careful because he'll damage. Actually, he can't deal damage right now, right? Yeah. So we can kill the infections. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I can unload, and my submachine gun will hit all the infections for four damage. Ah, love it. So. That is what I'm going to do. We can get rid of them Excellent. with Tempest, actually, and with Tempest, we'll get rid of them all before uh, you guys go. That's going to be really good. Cool. Uh, I could do another aim, but I think between me and Tempest, we have enough because you can do uh, your. You're going to do your base thing, and then you're also going to do. Um, you can do your regular power, so I think that should be enough. Then I can use mm -hmm. Prejudice. On Plague Rat? Yeah, because that's the submachine gun's going to do four damage. Then Jen's going to do one at the start of her turn. And can you do one to everything? Yeah, I can do one to everything. Okay, or two, I guess, if you want to use the other. If you want to play Grievous Hailstorm. All right, so submachine gun is going to be four damage. To all those cards, which is great. And then I can use Prejudice and play Grat. Nice. <clears throat> that was a very astute play, Jean Marc, even though you didn't know it was coming. It's not in play. I was thinking that, uh, that's okay. I was thinking time flies was so important. Yeah, I oh, always forget yeah. when, it though, gets, when it gets gone. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I guess I was hoping that, like, I was like, oh, it'd be really nice if time flies was still in play. But, yeah, no, it's the same thing when, uh, when it came to John's turn, I was yeah. like, oh, cool. So he'll play out the, the shotgun and then use unload. Oh, wait, darn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have no you have no more no more hit points to gain except one, so you may as well start hurting yourself. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, Sanvar uh, notices that we tend to do really well in Realm of Discord, and that's true. I think most of the times we've played Realm of Discord on the stream, it's always worked out really well for us. Yeah, that was really lucky what just happened. Like, so. Yeah, so the ones that are based on the number of non-hero targets are a little less useful with Plagrat. Yeah, um, and if I'd have gone to... first, it would have been useful because there were lots of targets. Oh, yeah, with all the ongoings. But, yeah. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> so, I will do this thing. Uh, I wish there was a, a like button in the Twitch chat for Cytosine. He says, it's because Jeremy's alignment is chaotic damage, <laughs> which is very true. That's actually pretty, pretty solid. When we start doing this well at the beginning of a game, I always start to get nervous that something's <laughs> about to turn. All right, let's see what our decks have. Oh, yes. Well, that worked out nicely for Patriot. Do we want to destroy ghostly images or do we want to keep it? Um, I always like the ones that let you play cards. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, too. Get rid of imbued vitality and hit play grab. And absolute zero. I mean, play I guess we're destroying. What? That's why I never use choose for me on ghostly images, by the way. Ah. So because you can lose well, it. Well, I mean, I don't have to destroy it. That's true. You don't have to. It's up to. I think, I mean, I can just skip it. Skip it for absolute zero. And Scholar to hurt themselves. Oh well. <laughs> well, I mean, we could always rewind and cheat. No, that's we both have so much it. healing. It's I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, we're we're in we're in decent shape right now. All right, infection. I can take it if uh, I'm, you know Scholar's starting to get down a little bit lower. Yeah, you want the plus damage anyways, yeah. right? Yes. Pride and Prejudice with a sh machine gun in the middle. Now I need that other unload. Yep. I'm proud of her prejudicial machine gun. But now both my run. unloads are in my trash, so I'm not going to get another one unless I can dig. Anyone want some damage? <laughs> if we could choose the type. Right. Yeah, if you have your elemental, then you could. Well, if I get that out on my next turn. Fire full damage <laughs> and it. hit absolute zero. Man, leg There we go, yeah, four. Eating. He might not make it to the next round. He's, uh... Yep, all right, so let's see what we got here. I've, I've only been dealt two fire. Uh, found drain. One non-hero, three cold, and himself four fire. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, he might not make it to the environment turn. <laughs> I don't think he will. Not if you do fire damage. The scholar will finish him off. I appreciate that the villains are being nice to us on our anniversary. And allowing us to easily walk over them. So far. So this is a game. A couple of times I've had games like this where it's like, okay, I get the villain down to here, and now it's like, all right, my goal is no longer to win. My goal is to is to do some specific thing. Like uh, I was playing against Gloomweaver once, and I decided, all right, I I want to beat him by the alternate winning condition where you get the the relics. Uh, into the trash instead of just finishing him off. And he, I kept him at two HP for like three rounds, which was tough because I think I had like Tempest in play and a couple others that could do some wanton damage. Ooh. Wah, wah. 
<laughs> and the victory night, music comes rat. out again. Put a muzzle on that rat. <laughs> Scholar's just like, yeah, that wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a camp. That's right. Well done. Good job, team. It truly is well a happy anniversary. Am I doing my thing? 1215. Alright, so it is we once again have about an hour to kill before the next thing. So let's go ahead and start to count to 1215 AM. AM? Oh, yeah, yes. Or PM. Alright, well, there it is. Game two is all done. Um, and actually, let's see, it is 1117. Uh, I believe that the Steam sale will actually be going live around 1. I think we've mentioned that, but I'll mention it again. So, um, still a little bit of a while before you can get the Steam discount, uh, if that's what you're looking to do. But we will make sure we announce that once we notice, uh, that it is live. All the other ones, uh, iTunes is live, the, the discount, not the app update yet. And Google is live for both. Uh, Amazon pricing and update I still don't think are quite live. Refresh that page and see. Oh, still says 999, still says 145. So we will let you know um, when that's ready. Uh, just keep listening here. Uh, we're going to leave the, the stream up and we're going to mute, and we will see you guys in about an hour to meet me, your favorite chaotic damage dealer. <laughs>